Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupitergym.com. I'm at my live active site, Jupiter Jim's marketing team. And before we get started, I would like to suggest, see this big book here, that you sign up for my blog so that you can receive my video tutorials directly into your email inbox, or you can receive my blog post. There's usually only going to be about one per week, maybe two. What I'm going to do today is show you how to add your social media icons uh, to your widget sidebar so that or your sidebar widget so that when you click on a social media icon for instance this one it'll bring you directly to my YouTube channel and you can see right there the number of views and all that stuff okay first thing I'm gonna click over here the first thing you need to do is just type into Google social media icons 2012 for the year or 2013 depending on the year and the reason I like to put the year in is because some of the earlier social media icon packages did not include things like the latest and the greatest like Pinterest okay so we're at here by searching in Google I ended up here um, be careful that you don't go uh, download zip files and stuff from foreign sites um, and uh, because you are unzipping something potential for viruses malware uh, scan the files before you open them I've already done that so okay I'm in a Google Chrome browser so when I click right click it says save link as just download it and then you have to find it on your computer in a minute so save link as and this automatically wants to save in here let me this has already been saved before I'm just gonna save over it so let's just click save okay then I click here show in folder this brings me back to the folder here it is document social icons demo um, let me widen that up double click this and you can see this is the one I just downloaded we can delete that one it really doesn't matter it was just a duplicate okay so this is what I just downloaded uh, you need to find out wherever you downloaded whatever folder your zip file is in then right click I use 7-zip which is free I'm gonna extract here you can use WinZip if you don't know how to extract it here if you don't know how to use uh, unzip just files just go look in YouTube okay extract here and it's going to create a folder with actually other folders in it so I'm gonna double click on that and the social media icons are in these four folders I like to use the PNG portable networks graphic and then click it in there and these are the social media icons that we'll be using okay here is the demonstration site Jim's Max GXL marketing okay so these are two different widgets in the sidebar uh, we're gonna kinda duplicate that I'm gonna show you how first thing let's go to the dashboard you're going to go to plugins and this is the crux of the matter right here go to plugins add new you're gonna type in black studio widget those are the keywords to find this critical plugin and that will bring you right to here black studio tiny MCE widget make sure it's created by black studio it's got a ra rating of five out of five out of based on 63 ratings which is excellent I've already installed it you're just gonna download install and activate it okay if you don't know how to do that I've created a video on that or you can find free videos on downloading installing and activating widgets and plugins excuse me plugins on uh, YouTube okay so after you've done that you want to go to appearance you're gonna go to widgets so once you've activated that black studio widget plugin it's going to create a little thingamajiggy right here okay so I'm gonna take and drag this over here you can see that it's empty there's nothing in it and this which this is what makes it so powerful it's got all the same controls you do when you create a blog post that you normally don't have in a sidebar widget okay I'm gonna add five social media icons I'm gonna find them in my computer I'm gonna select the files I'm just gonna do one at a time I know it's a little boring um, yeah this would be the correct place go to the PNG like I said 4848 I'm gonna do this one first just double click it crunching and there you go I like to put it on it's actually the way I'm showing you how to do it make sure you leave it on none for alignment full size insert it to post and we're just gonna do that four more times I may cut it out of the video if I think it takes too much time I don't know just double click 
Now it's already preset at this point for none and full size. Just insert into post. And I'm going to do that three more times just so you can see how easy it is. LinkedIn, I don't know if I've done that one yet. Okay, and one more just so we can start the second row. Let's just go with uh, Twitter. Great. Okay, here they are. We've uploaded them very easily. I'm just going to save this. We're going to go back here. We're going to hit refresh. Okay, and we can see the here. Now we've got to align them. Okay, so go back here. I'm going to click up there. And I'm just going to highlight each one and just align it to the left. Now there are different ways you can do this. This is just the way that I do it or it's the easiest way to teach you how to do it. If you're not a coder, I think it is anyway. So just deselect by clicking in the white space, go back, save again, hit refresh. Okay, this one, well there it is right there. Widget. Okay, next thing, if you want to create a space underneath it, I'm going to give you a little tip right now. Let's just go into the HTML, and at the very bottom, you can leave a space, it doesn't matter. I'm going to put a div tag style equals. and then close the div tag and I'm going to zoom in right there so you can see exactly what I'm looking at it's very simple you can just type that that's a colon in the middle semicolon there and let's click save and let's see if that leaves a little space under it okay there you go it leaves a little space so that's a real helpful tip now we need to link it now see how there's a little more space on the left and the right I can show you how to fix that in a minute right now I'm just gonna sh if I click here it just brings you to the icon which is annoying so what I'm going to do is actually go to this is my Facebook fan page okay this is you can see that okay so I'm gonna click up here highlight everything or press Control A or Command A to highlight all then Control C to copy Control C or Command C in a Mac go back to the widgets go back into visual mode I'm going to click on Facebook just click on it once don't worry about this little pop-up never mind that then you're gonna click on the link and uh, I'm just gonna hit backspace or delete we get rid of the one that's there control V like Victor or command V on a Mac you can put a title in there I'm gonna skip that just to speed things up click Save go back here refresh uh, click on the Facebook and you can see that I've already logged in that's why it looks kinda of funky there at top and that's all you're going to do I'm gonna click back now before we go I'm going to just show you how to get rid of that white space on the side now there's a lot of different ways to do it I'm just going to show you what I think is a really simple way for people especially if they're not coders go back into HTML you've got this paragraph tag up there right after you see the opening and closing angle bracket I'm just putting some white space there to make it easier to read I'm just going to style this and you can just copy this directly quote margin colon and I'm gonna put 10 pixels I've already played around and I know that that'll work semicolon close quote and you just opened um, that paragraph tag it's already closed here so you don't need to worry about that and that margin is gonna put 10 
pixels on the left, 10 on the right, 10 on top, 10 below. And the above and below is not so important. The left and right is important. You might want to try 12, 15 pixels, whatever works for you. Now, I did try text align center. I did try margin auto to try to center these. And it didn't work for me. Like I said, there are different ways you can do it. I'm trying to teach you the simplest, easiest way that I know how. So I'm going to click Save. And with a little luck, uh, this, when I hit refresh, this will not be so fat on the right and be a little more centered. Oh, okay, there you go. It's pretty much centered. Like I said, you might have to play around with it. I could make that 11, and it might make it a little better, but you get the point. Um, that's basically all there is to it. I hope this helped. If you like it, share with friends, family, neighbors, and loved ones, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Take care and have a great day.